the EC has been involved in, uh, um, in the topic of open science since, let's say, at least two to three years when we started observing the trends that were affecting the scientific field and how it changed the way research was done, the way researchers collaborate. And our task is to prepare the policies of the future. And one of the things we have been looking at since the year of three is how uh, the field of science and the institutions of science are being changed by the ongoing uh, technological innovations, globalization and so on. When I think about open science, I think about data sharing, making your information available, and also collaboration, so an environment where people work together a lot more than they do today. When it comes to technology and open science, I think a really big driving force will be a new generation of young people who've been brought up on the web. They're used to pouring out all their lives on Twitter, Instagram. I hear Facebook is maybe not so popular with 12-year-olds, but whatever they're using in the 2020s. So I think by 2030, the new young scientists will come into science with a completely different attitude about privacy and how the world should look. So open science is a concept a vision, if you want, a vision of the future that is shared by many, but with different elements depending on who you are. So some of those elements are certainly openness, transparency, collaboration, efficiency. And so all those elements are pushing the scientific community and all the stakeholders around into this open science vision Let's say in a really ideal open science world, all researchers will really completely put their documentation and results and data uh, openly available for everyone. You don't have like in a traditional system uh, where you have at the end of your research project a publication where you publish your results, but also during the research process you start for instance blogging or having wikis uh, where you already publish your interim results, uh, some thoughts that you have, and so on. Well, open science is really opening up uh, all data that is linked with the research ecosystem. Uh, from the researchers' uh, publication data, uh, lab notebooks, but also the peer review process, uh, the institution's uh, activity, everything. I think it's very important not to stick ourselves to one idea of open science because we don't know what open science is in practice yet. What you already see now is that within Europe, the European Commission for many years already tries to uh, stimulate and promote uh, things like knowledge and innovation communities, joint technology platforms, forms of research collaborations where multiple actors come together and try to program and do research together.